Hello, hello everyone. Chrissy Etheridge here, The Oilist. Today we are going to talk about deep blue. <clears throat> now, you might either be trying deep blue as a sample from one of these cute little packets here, or maybe somebody's given you a roller bottle with deep blue rub in it um, from this bottle right here. Or maybe you're just here learning and wanting to know more about doTERRA and Deep Blue. And that's great. Whichever way you, you have come here, I am so grateful that you're here listening. My name is Chrissy Etheridge. I'm a family nurse practitioner that works in multiple emergency rooms in Las Vegas, Nevada. But I'm also an essential oil educator and a doTERRA wellness advocate. Um, I love learning and teaching how to use modern day medicine with plant-based medicine. Um, I do believe that we can figure out both um, in a very beneficial way for myself and for you with whatever healthcare ailments you might have with your family members. Um, we don't have to pick one or the other. We can actually use both in a very, very beautiful relationship so we get what we're looking for, which is optimal healthcare, right? So we're going to talk about Deep Blue Rub. This is called our soothing blend with doTERRA. This is a proprietary blend that doTERRA puts together for us that is mixed with wintergreen, camphor, peppermint, blue tansy, helichrysum, and blue chamomile. And if you're not sure what's on the blends when you get your essential oils with doTERRA, it's actually on the ingredient label. Um, one thing also to know is that on our bottles of essential oils, um, if it is safe to take internally, there will be a supplementation fact. I'm going to show you this right here. Right here, there'll be a supplementation. If I can get it to zoom and relax in, um, it's, it just has a supplementation fact at the top. But our deep blue rub does not have that. This is not safe to take internal because there's winter green in it. Okay, so just up front, um, this is only used really for topical use. You could diffuse it, I guess, but for the most part, we're just going to use this topically. So we're going to use this for different aches and pains. That's why it's called our soothing blend. So maybe you want, might want to rub it on your neck. Um, if you get tension um, headaches, um, you can put it on the sore muscles on the back of your neck to help with that. You can even rub a little bit extra on your temples to help and maybe that little tension spot right there, you know, when we make that muscle, cringe that muscle right there, right there. Oh, I can push it and it hurts a little bit for me. So I would use the deep blue right there as well. But on the back of your neck and on your temples, don't get it in your eyes because it has peppermint and it's going to hurt. You can rub it on your back, maybe on your lower spine if that's where some of your discomfort lies, on your hips, your elbows. It's kind of like that head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. You really want to think, put the deep blue rub where it hurts. Um, now, you want to be cautious with um, small children because sometimes they don't like that icy hot sensation that does come about by using the deep blue rub. Um, so you can either mix it with a little bit more like a coconut oil or a plain lotion if you want to dilute it a little bit more for them. Now if you're using the deep blue rub let this concentrate, you can then dilute it in a roller bottle um, as you see fit for your kiddos. So typically what I like to recommend is one drop per age of the child mixed in a 10 milliliter roller bottle and filled with a fractionated coconut oil like this. Fractionated coconut oil just means it's liquid at room temperature. You could also mix it with other carrier oils like jojoba or almond oil if that's what you have available. But fractionated coconut oil seems to be the most common that DIYers with essential oils use. So you would want to get a 10 milliliter bottle, your fractionated coconut oil, and then you would use the deep blue soothing blend um, and make your own drops of essential oils, okay? But if you're using this, um, that's totally acceptable. I would just dilute it for smaller kiddos. Now for you um, as an adult, maybe you're really achy and pain. Um, some people say, well, why do I need both? Well, I use the deep blue drops that come out in this really amazing blue because the blue chamomile and the blue tansy are actually blue. They're actually white and yellow flowers. And during distillation, um, the uh, chim... Ch uh, Chimazel, chimazeline, chimazeline um, makes it turn blue. So check this out. 
So this, you see that? It's blue. So um, you would take it just like so and rub it in that area. If you didn't have any deep blue rub um, and you just had the blend, you could just apply it just like that um, around your neck. That's a really, really easy way to do it. But what you could also do is take your deep blue rub and what I like to do is put a dollop pea size on my finger, like so. I create a little well, like that, because usually I'm applying the deep blue rub myself. So it's kind of like making a mashed potato well. Remember doing that when you were a kid? So you could put your gravy inside. So think about it like that, right? And then take your drop, one drop, and fill it inside that little well, just like your gravy boat. And then you can take it and apply it to wherever. I'm gonna put it on my lower back because goodness gracious, I would never waste this. So I'm gonna rub it in on my spine while we sit here. And let me get some good, soothing, cool, relaxation effects of this deep blue rub on my lower back. Huh. It takes a couple of minutes to start feeling that tingle. Um, you could mix this deep blue rub with a lot of different oils like that. Maybe you had frankincense, you could add some frankincense to help it um, give a little bit more um, anti-inflammatory benefit. You could mix peppermint um, if you didn't have the deep blue rub drop, or you could mix all three of them together. Um, I've pulled my back out before and had a lot of problems, and I will mix several of those oils in that little gravy boat well. Um, that I like to call it, um, to try to help my back. I've put turmeric in it, copaiba, frankincense, peppermint, whatever I can get my hands on just to get some of that soothing benefit. Caution, don't rub it in your eyes when you get done. Um, the menthol sensation that comes with the um, peppermint and then the methyl salicylate icy hot sensation that comes with the wintergreen can certainly cause a burning sensation. Um, so you want to be mindful of that. Don't rub it in your eyes. Wash your hands after. Or a little fun fact, um, you can actually just dilute a little bit more with your fractionated coconut oil. Rub that together and then wipe it with a paper towel and that will help um, dilute the, coat, the um, blend on your hands even more, and then you can just wipe it um, off with a paper towel. All right, so we would put it on muscle pain, um, different areas, we would put it on joint pain. Uh, certainly if you had some of those um, just generalized body aches and pains like those immuno um, um, compromised situations, um, you can use it for neck pain, even bruises, headaches, and bone pain. And I always like to remind um, my females in the group that are watching this that when you're having your unfortunate um, monthly um, pains and aches that happen, you can apply it directly onto your lower abdomen and then actually in enhance the icy hot sensation by putting a heating pad over your abdomen and you're going to get a lot of relief that way. So I hope you guys have found value with this. If you did, please share it uh, with your friends and family that you think need uh, essential oils in their life. Please subscribe to The Oil List and um, I'll see you for the next one. Bye.